Bonsoir. Hey, hens. Is the only reason that I'm stood in this position right now instead of sat down facing the camera so you can see my outfit? Potentially, yes, but it is really nice. I've got this Dad Steve shirt from TikTok, this little mini skirt on, and some shoes and white socks and loafers. Sly! Anyway, I've been through blistering winds and scorching deserts, and I have managed to renovate the entire town that is Willow Creek. Did it take me eight months? It did, Your Honour, it did. Is it ready for you now? It is, Your Honour, you're it is. And is it base game compatible? Oh, oui. Are you enjoying your time in Paris? Oh, oui. I think for my new office, I want to get a standing desk because one thing about me, babe, I'm going to stand. Who's got two thumbs and likes to stand at this girl? Sorry, just sort the shag out, lol. Uh, so today, I'm going to be giving you a grand tour of my save file. It is only... Willow Creek that's done, like I said. I thought rather than just waiting however long it takes me to update the entire world of every single world, I'll just release it bit by bit. Wait, there'll be a link in the description that you can download. And when you do download them, you will get these two. And then with these, you might want to rename them, actually. I'll, I'm not going to rename them because I think I already have them, but I will rename them so they don't take over your entire file. So with these, you want to go to My Documents, Electronic Arts, the Sims 4 saves and just paste them in there. And then when we load up Origin and start The Sims, it should be there. It doesn't need any custom content or mods. You can play this without having custom content or mods installed. It, oh, fuck off Origin updates. Honestly, one thing about Origin, Origin fucking loves to update. How to install Plumbella's new save file, save file 3.0. Look at how tan my knees are, by the way. She is the star of the show. She is the absolute moment. Yes, I do have legs. A lot of people get shocked when they see me in real life because I have, look, I've got two of them actually two legs who's got two legs this girl so you want to load game once you're in here i did save this recently like on the well today apparently so it does come up as 8th of the 11th 2022 however if you're seeing this video like months in the future if it's no longer august 2022 when you download this you might be like where the fuck is this save file babe and it the save files are saved by date so you might have to scroll down to the date because that is an issue that i run into ran into multiple times. So this is my renovated version of Willow Creek. In my last save file, I made a brand new lot for each world. Like every single thing was new. I didn't do that with this one because I thought, you know what, babe, that's just so much work that is not quite necessary. A lot of them are new, but a lot of them are also just renovated and like repurposed, etc., etc. I did end up finishing all of the, the parts that I didn't get to show on videos. So the first place, Magnolia Blossom, let's just start off strong because I was proud of this girl. She's really good. If I do say so myself, I'm not a strong landscaper. So I was proud of what I've done with this one. This is what she looks like. There's lots of trees about and stuff like that uh, but that's not i can't control the outside trees unfortunately we first walk up i love a place that's got a very structured walkway area it's something about it just does it for me so you first walk up and it's this beautiful little lake because ponds weren't a thing when the sims 4 got released and now they are so i utilized that beautiful pond with like a victorian archway which also has flowers on the top of it beautiful and then we've got another little pond with a fountain she's stunning she's grace and then we have a dedicated child play area here and i did also include some potties for toddlers because uh the sims 4 worlds are not built to accommodate toddlers and I accommodated them. Your Honour, thank you. Toddlers deserve rights. I don't know what this step steal is doing there. Ignore that. She deserves rights as well. God bless her. Over here in this little section, we've got the cookout area, which is nice. Little area for chess tables. Over here, we have another little Victorian moment. One thing about me, I fucking love the Victorians. And this is like a little wedding venue as well because we're gonna have wedding venues now. And then it does also have a bar, so you could have the entire party here. No dance floor because it doesn't come with base game, but you know, you could put one in if you wanted to. Toilets there because toilets and community court lots do not really need rooms, do you know what I mean? Little gardening area. And then I included my worst fear in these, a maze. I fucking hate mazes, actually. I'm just not good at that type of thing, but this is a maze. And then in here, in the maze is a cow plant berry. Multiple challenges to be faced there potential death it is what it is babe you know what i mean life goes on and on and on so that is willow creek park lots to do for lots of people and then we've got the willow creek archive this is another new build as well so by archive i mean library this has got a lot of by debug uh, and i'm very proud of what she looks like she is 
very pretty to me. I love her. They've got, again, another little garden section around the side and a uh, rocket science skill because it is rocket science, babe, and also a little acoustic performance. I just wanted you to be able to do the most in a community lot because loading screens really boil my piss, actually. So I wanted you to be able to come somewhere and like have items that are related to that there. Do you know what I mean? And then we've got a little reading area over here. She's very cute and quaint. Some bastard has left a book on the floor and then a little research area back here is also just painting and woodworking because again you've got skills babe you've got skills and then the stairs upstairs the stairs up, the stairs lead to upstairs and it's kind of got this it's kind of open plan but also not because it's blocked off by this little painting area we've got a uh, kids learning experience i imagine that a little kid as drew this beautiful stunningly perfect in this side of it we've got like the kids little reading area and homework area this tv not tv this computer that reminds me of my parents are aliens loved that show and then also a toilet with toddler rights because we toddlers deserve what besties rights i support toddlers rights and wrongs and then we've also got the movers and shakers gym which i decided to reap this was two things previously and i can't remember what the other thing was but i decided to just turn it into a gym so i deleted one side of the building extended it a bit i think and downstairs is a gym she is in fact a gym. she does live up to the name yeah so i just kind of renovated that gave it more stuff and more fun things upstairs again once again she is a gym but it's also got a shower here as well so you know you could have a good time here you could use the showers it's also got a pool outside with some relaxation areas i, I had to include the hot tub because i was like well it's not the fact that i hate the hot tub i just dislike what she stands for but she's free in base game so i included her and then we've got a little cookout area as well so you could basically you could have a fun day here and it's got tvs everywhere you could be dancing singing having a great time we've also got the green velvet which is a nightclub i think this is my favorite community lot she is so beautiful to me i think she was originally called the blue velvet but she was green so i changed her to the green velvet because that's what makes sense to me and then in the nighttime this is all green as well i really try to sell the theme here and then inside we've got the makeshift dance floor because dance floors aren't base game but if you have a pack with a dance floor you can just easily place it here and then it's also got a microphone and singing stuff and stuff like that so you could also perform little bar area and a nice little you know just a cute little meeting point i'm talking out my ass here babe this is where you can bring someone on a date or whatever and then we've got bathrooms and these bathrooms are themed so it's like each one is a famous movie and by themed i mean each one's got a poster in front of it that's the downstairs outside is just more of the same just a little more cozy and then upstairs we've just got a big dining area with another bar this one, again, is a bit more intimate. It's got a fire and everything. You can sit and cool down, babe. We've got some Gandalf-looking fucker here. And then this also overlooks that. I love an overlook. One thing about me, I'm going to overlook, babe. But not moral sins. I will not overlook them. They play very heavily on my mind. One thing about me, I can't stand people who commit moral sins. Anyway, moving on. And then upstairs, again, the fucking hot tub, the piece of the resistance. I don't know why I'm becoming so fond of her. Hot tub area with a little lounge TV. Again, the opportunity for a dance floor, but there's no base game dance floor, so we've got a makeshift one. Yeah, I thought, why not utilize the roof? You know what I mean? She's got views. She's got views. Imagine a date there overlooking the water. Oh, are you happy to be in Paris? Are we? Finally, we have got Municipal Muses. This one is kind of based off Pride and Prejudice. Nobody is shocked. Nobody is shocked. I'd love to hear it. But it's also kind of based off Ormsby Hall, which is an old house near me. Ruth Chapman. I am, I am a stan of Ruth Chapman. She done a lot for the poor. Love Ruth Chapman. It's just kind of the vibes of it. It's, it's basically... A museum but i thought you know what museums in the sims 4 a shit really 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 shit museums in the 4 she deserves nothing she does fuck all so again it's another learning place i try to make it as entertaining as possible so we've got like imagine that these are victorian games from the past that you can come and play and we've got some old looking easels and drawing table things and then downstairs i decided i'm gonna make a display of it so this one my friends, is the science display. And museums do also include interactive things for kids too. So you can come here and learn about science and interact with like, you know, things you might not have in your house like this, whatever that is. And then a flying pig, because that's scientific, isn't it? And then also the elemental collections. And then this superstar, Buzz Lightyear. I, one thing about me, I love women in STEM. And then this bit is like the ancient historical artifacts through time kind of thing. So I included some swords. They're there, they exist. Also, I thought, you know what? 
gay couples through time. Nice. In The Sims 4 Get Together, there is like these nameplates where, and it kind of looks like it, well, it is, because it's for the Von Horn estate, so it kind of looks like a description of what you're looking at. We don't have those in base games, so I had to try and use these menus to like convey what you're looking at. I don't know. I try to really sell the uh, museum aspect of it here. We've got the crown jewels, a ship, like two ships in the night. And then I tried to make it like a living museum, which is kind of what Ormsby Hall is. It's like, this is a go upstairs and see the stately home. And then here it's like, welcome to the dining room. In the dining room, blah, 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 blah. So I tried to decorate like it, it like a historical home. So in here we've got uh, the oven within this little thing. I don't know if it's usable, but it's not here to be used. It's here to look good. And then upstairs as well. It, it's laid out like a historical home. So, I mean, you know what? You could live here, babe. You could move in for free. And then in this section, we've got the artist thing. So we've got a uh, ice sculpture and lots of life drawings, etc. And then in this section, again, just historical artifacts. There's Buzz Like here again. Love him. But... A sneaky, sneaky little sneak, sneak thing I included. It is all of the elements and trophies, etc. in this bit, which I thought was fun. Yeah, that, this is what the outside of it looks like. She's very bold. You've kind of already seen this area with like the, the goths and the goths and the pancakes. You've, you you have seen the majority of these places. Um, I did renovate Oak instead just a little bit. Like I kind of fixed it by my definition of fixing. So I mean, I gave it uh dormers and fix the outsides a little bit oh whoopsie doopsies so yeah this is basically just a fucking massive mansion it has got an attic upstairs with like usable rooms and everything kind of like a i don't know where your nan lives mine doesn't my nana lives with a husband actually uh but your nana you know what i mean you could make her in the sims and put her in here but my nana She's much too, she's got too much on. She still works in the hospital at the grand old age of 80 something. Yeah, it's got themed rooms. I didn't go too heavy with the themed rooms because I still wanted you to be able to move into it and like kind of customize it to what your Sims would like. But I also, you know, I didn't want it to just look shit. So yeah, they're still customized and themed and everything, but not too heavily. So that's that house. We've even got a family room in the back. GG, we love family rooms. And I think, I think I have showed you everything so far. But yeah, I really like how themed and colorful the houses were in willow creek so i did try and bring that in with this one really like the style of it she's cute this family were so ready to live their empty nest life and then the daughter is currently facing the current rent crisis so she said now nah, fuck that babe i'm moving into my childhood bedroom <laughs> much like me now in terms of the families we still have a lot of families that are the same they've all been made over so we've got the spencer kim lewis household the goths have been given a makeover as well bella goth is she's fucking gone she's left and the pancakes as well i did give them their son iggy and also the bff household i gave them a makeover because they deserved one and also this is 2022 babe so the only thing i changed about their description was that except perhaps the grown feelings both summer and liberty have for each other they're gay but i also included a lot of new families like the masterson family with their child uh re the really family and they've all got descriptions in as well and they also have relationships with each other so they all know each other where appropriate and also the relationships between the goths and the goths have been established they fucking despise each other and which one of the mastersons is it nathan masterson is a businessman and he's in business with mortimer goth so the mastersons despise the fake goths but the fake goths right are best friends even though i haven't gone on to renovate this part of it yet the fake goths are best friends with the land grabs and the land grabs and the goths are in cahoots to try and overthrow the original goth family from willow creek but will they no they will not your honor i know a lot of people like having open lots as well i did build everyone i'm not going to be offended if you delete a world if you delete a lot in it that's why i kind of put some spare ones in like a park and a pool and stuff like that but i also did leave a lot empty so in case you want to make your own sim and move them in there or if you want to play with some of my sims you feel free to play with some of my sims babe i'm not the best at creating sim so i'm just going to say my limits there but the law is there the law is established they've got relationships with each other and everything middle creek is she's pretty tame for now don't know what i'm going to do with the other worlds yet but we have officially finished willow creek you can download it for yourself link is in the description again you just take the files and put them in your save files yeah so Thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm hoping 
that when my house is i've had there's been shit with my, my house is she's coming along slowly but surely but also she wasn't coming along for a very long time at all so my office was delayed massively but i'm hoping that by the time that i get my new office i'll be able to stream renovating some of it as well because it's really fun to have actual community impact on it because i'm just kind of is it is it free balling free 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 styling i don't know what free balling is, is that when do stuff cheap i don't know anyway yeah i it would be nice to you know have community impact on it as well so that's everything i have for you today i love you all so so much please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye beach